So in the first Galarian Hunger Games, we have Corsola, not not Galarian Corsola, the other one. <laughs> Ferrothorn, Absol, Stonejourner, Heliolisk, Arcanine, Araquanid, Sol Rock, who I've written Sol Solly Rock for. Oops, Frostmoth, Heracross, Dedane, Thorough. Miltank, Ursula, Cloister, Sloking, Togi D, Altaria, Claydol, Mimikyu, Piu Kombuku, Appleton, Lathard, and Ordino. So one of these is going to be our next target for the shiny one. Are we ready to proceed with the first annual Galarian Hunger Games? So first off is the Bloodbath. As the tributes stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Oh. Heracross runs away from the cornucopia. Stonjourner cannot handle the circumstances and uh, do does a thing. Uh, Appleton runs into the cornucopia and, and hides. That's, that's really cute. Frostmoth sets off an explosion, killing Altaria, Dedne, Absol, and Togedomaru. Frostmoth shows no mercy. I'm scared of Frostmoth. <laughs> Lipard runs away from the cornucopia. Mimikyu runs away from the cornucopia. 20. Mimikyu did a sensible thing. Um, so Solly Rock. It's Sol Rock, sorry. Sol Rock grabs a sword. How? <laughs> Sol Rock, you don't have any arms. <laughs> Psychic, don't question it. Oh yeah, it could be hold yeah, holding it with his mind. <laughs> Arcanine runs away from the cornucopia. Ordino steps off a podium too soon and blows up. Well done, Ordino. Ferrothorn stabs Cloyster with a tree branch. Cursula also runs away from the cornucopia. Uh <laughs> Sloking strangles Corsula after engaging in a fist fight. <laughs> Does Corsula have a neck? That's a very good point. <laughs> Okay, Araquanid stays at the Cornucopia for resources. Pukimuku also stays at the Cornucopia for resources. Are they forming an alliance? Uh, Heliolisk is running away from the Cornucopia. Claydol is running away from the Cornucopia. Miltank is running away from the Cornucopia. And Thro gathers as much food as she can. Heracross sets up an explosive, killing off Lipard, Sloking, Appleton, and Mimikyu. Right, so Frostmoth and Heracross are terrifying. Frostmoth is going hunting. Thro runs away from a Raquinid. Miltank discovers a river. Well done, Miltank. Arcanine searches for a water source. Oh, guys! Claydol tends to Ferrothorn's wounds. Why is that so cute? Claydol is the good guy. Clay Claydol's doing like a nice thing here. Pukumuku searches for a water source. Solrog defeats Helenlisk in a fight but spares his life. And finally. Cursula makes a slingshot. We lost 12 Pokemon in one day. Salutes in the chat. To the Fallen Tributes. Stonjana. Altaria. Dedane. Absol. <laughs> Tokutamaru. Ordino. Cloyster. Corsola. Lipard. Sloking, Appleton, and Twinny. I'm so sorry. Mimikyu. Uh, Pukimuku, Heliolisk, Heracross, and Thra tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Solrock, Frostmoth, and Arcanine sleep in shifts. Claydol sets up camp for the night. Araquanid and Ferrothorn run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Why is everyone being so kind? Miltank is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Oh, guys. Cursula cries herself to sleep. Uh, Therophon bashes Thro's head in with a mace. Frostmoth tries to spearfish with a trident. Frostmoth had some casual murder on day one. 
And now I was just trying to do some fishing. Uh, Miltank, Araquanid, Heracross, Arcanine, and Pukamuku are hunting for other tributes. Fantastic. What a, what, what a squad. <laughs> Claydol tries to sleep through the entire day. A mood. Kersal is collecting fruit from a tree. Solrock is also collecting fruit from a tree. Heliolisk is making a slingshot. So, one cannon shot can be heard in the distance. And it is Thraw. Bye, Thraw. <laughs> okay, guys. It's night number two of the Galarian Hunger Games. Pukimuku lets Claydol into his shelter. Oh, <laughs> I feel a romance coming between Pukimuku and Claydol. Wait, isn't Pukimuku a water type and Claydol a ground type? Ground and psychic. Is that not going to be a problem? <laughs> Is this Romeo and Juliet? Arcanine begs for a Reconid to kill her. Good lord. <laughs> he refuses keeping Arcanine alive. Arcanine should just ask Frostmap or Heracross. One of the two. Cursula looks at the night sky. Solly Rock, aka Sol Rock, <laughs> cries herself to sleep. Stop crying. Frostmoth is singing itself to sleep. Frostmoth commits a quadruple murder on day one and then just wanders off and goes fishing and starts singing songs. Ferrothorn and Heracross run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Hmm. Uh, Heliolisk climbs a tree. Has a little rest. And Miltank just goes to sleep. Heliolisk didn't stay in the tree. But it has come down to pick some flowers. <laughs> Heliolisk, we're in the middle of the Hunger Games. What are you doing? <laughs> Claydol receives a hatchet <laughs> from an unknown sponsor. Wow. <laughs> so uh, Solly Rock, the Soul Rock, <laughs> receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Heracross chases Frostmoth. Guys, it's the showdown we all want. So Ferrothorn has received some clean water from an unknown sponsor. Um, Arac- Wait, hold on. Did we already do this? Araquanid begs for Arcanine. No, wait! Didn't they- Didn't this happen the other way around yesterday? <laughs> Araquanid begs for Arcanine to kill him and she refuses to keep Araquanid alive. Hasn't- Didn't Arcanine ask for Araquanid to do the same? <laughs> Pukamuku receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Who did that? Miltank discovers a cave. Why is Miltank just going around discovering rivers and caves? This is not a geography field trip, Miltank. Kersler is searching for a water source. How did no one die on day three? Okay, Veraphorn, Arcanine, and Heliolisk discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. Um, guys, Miltank is just humming to itself. Miltank doesn't have a care in the world. Uh, Araquanid questions his sanity. That's just me every day. You're not gonna like this. Pukibuku convinces Frostmoth not to kill him, only to kill him instead. Pukibuku has just murdered Frostmoth. Uh, Kersal and Heracross are sleeping in ships. This isn't funny. Claydol kills Soul Rock with a sickle. It's quite impressive. Quite impressive to kill a rock with a sickle, but sure. <laughs> Claydol! <laughs> How could you? You were meant to be wholesome. Okay, guys. It's time in the Galarian Hunger Games to enter the feast. The Cornucopia is replenished with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the Tributes families. Okay? The feast is a big, a big moment. It's meant to lure the tributes out. Arcanine decides not to go. Araquanid is also deciding not to go. Claydol is also not going. Is anyone going? <laughs> Ferrothorn also decides not to go to the feast. Bunch of party poopers. <laughs> Miltank is not going either. <laughs> Heracross is also not going. <laughs> Miltank is still adventuring. Miltank is still in the cave. <laughs> Kersler throws a knife into Pukamuku's head. Oh. Wisely, Heliolisk also decided not to go to the feast. So the only people who apparently went were Kersler and Pukamuku. <laughs> and that went really well for Pukamuku. Miltank runs away from Ferrothorn. I thought it said runs away with Ferrothorn. Then I'm like, oh, <laughs> scandalous. <laughs> no, runs away from Ferrothorn. Kersler thinks about home. Kersler, you need to stop doing this. Stop being so wholesome. <laughs> Although, you know, Kersler did just, just murder Pukamuki, so maybe it's not that wholesome. <laughs> Claydol chases a Raquanid. Heliolisk is searching for a water source. Also, Dan, you're going to be so pleased. Heracross is making a spear. 
Also, Arcanine is receiving some fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Fallen Tributes number four. Three cannon shots have been heard. And our Fallen Tributes were Frostmoth. All he wanted to do was fish and sing songs. <laughs> Solly Rock, who's definitely Sol Rock. And Pukimuku, who murdered Frostmoth, but then got stabbed in the head. Yep, 07's in the chat. 07's in the chat. Not the Frostmoth. Frostmoth just wanted to go fishing. Claydol passes out from exhaustion. Kersla tends to Araquanid's wounds. Miltang thinks about winning. <laughs> Miltang's just like, all, all Miltang's done is wander around, look at rivers and caves, and is like, I oh, quite fancy winning, to be honest. Yeah, seems like something I could do. Helila, oh, my panic then as I read that. Helilis defeats Arcanine in a fight, but spares her life. What is going on? Why do people keep doing this? Why do these Pokemon keep sparing each other? This is not how the Hunger Games is supposed to work, Helilis. You can't keep doing this. Derevorn thinks about home. Uh... <laughs> Rip Heracross! Heracross bleeds out due to untreated injuries. What a horrible way to go! Miltank chases Claydol. Miltank's getting well sassy. What is going on? Watch it. Miltank is 100% going to use his knowledge to win. Miltank is smart. Who knew? Ferrothorn, Araquanid, and Arcanine start fighting but araquanid runs away as ferrothorn kills the arcanine just died cursula is searching for firewood heliolisk sees smoke rising in the distance but decides not to investigate okay guys fallen tributes number five get those salutes in the chat for our two fallen tributes from this round Heracross and Arcanine. <laughs> okay, are we ready? N nothing normally happens in the night. She says, as I can fully see something has happened in the night. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Heliolisk sets an explosive off. Killing Ferrothorn. Pukyu gave its dynamite to Heliolisk. Apparently so. Claydol receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Sorry, this next this next bit is <laughs> Miltank, Kersla, and Araquanid are just cheerfully singing songs together. Literally murders happening, and Miltank is like, Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. <laughs> Miltank's making a slingshot. Araquanid is collecting fruit from a tree. Kersla is traveling to get to higher ground. Heliolisk has a taste for blood and is hunting for the other tributes. And Claydol has made a wooden spear. So everybody salutes in the chat for the one fallen tribute from this section, which is the Ferrothorn. It is the Ferrothorn. It maced wisely, but sadly it got exploded. Night number six, guys. Night number six. Cursula screams for help. Heliolisk stabs Claydol with a tree branch. Ripped to Claydol. All Claydol did was tend to people's wounds and be wholesome. Araquanid begs for Miltank to kill him. He refuses, keeping Araquanid alive. Heliolisk begs for Miltank to kill him, but he refuses, keeping Heliolisk alive. Miltank? This is not how you win. Kersala receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Araquanid's discovered a cave! Not a cave, a Raquanid. That's that's Miltank's job. Is it the same cave Miltank found? Maybe, maybe. Imagine Miltank and a Raquanid go into the cave together. A a a a. Guys, there's an, a thing is happening. A cloud of poisonous smoke is starting to fill the arena. Cursula survives. It's fine. Miltank will just find a cave. <laughs> there you go. Mil Miltank survived. Miltank found the cave. Done. Heliolisk is engulfed in the cloud of poisonous smoke. Well, <laughs> there goes Heliolisk. Oops. <laughs> Araquanid has survived. The fallen tributes are in. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Get your salutes in the chat. For the, the goodest of good guys, Claydol, he barely did any wrong. Get your salutes in the chat. And also, salutes in the chat for Heliolisk. 
who died to poison smoke. It is night number seven. Oh my god, guys, 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 <laughs> there's a romance happening. <laughs> Miltan convinces a Raquinid to snuggle with him. Stop it, stop it. <laughs> They've got into the cave together. <laughs> they both found the cave. They're in the cave. They're having a cuddle in the cave. <laughs> So it was Miltank's cave. Consider that mystery solved. Kersla loses sight of where she is. Wait, what does that mean? Does that mean, like, literally or spiritually? <laughs> Kersla's just left out. Kersla wanted a cuddle, and now Kersla's by itself. Miltank and Araquanid split up to search for resources. Okay, so uh, Miltank didn't, you know, stab the Araquanid in the night. That's good news. And Kersler travels to higher ground. We're, we're on to night number eight. <gasps> Hold on a minute, you absolute snake! What are you doing? Meltank? Hold Hold on a minute! I thought you were snuggling with a raccoonid last night. Why are you now tending to Kersler's wounds? Betrayal! Miltank! <laughs> what drama! Arachnid's gonna be so upset with you. Arachnid has received some, some fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Yeah, and Arachnid won't be sharing that food with Miltank if Miltank's gonna be doing this. <laughs> Someone felt sorry for the spoon. <laughs> Kersala attacks Miltank. Oh my god, oh my god. But he manages to escape. Run, Miltank! Run! <laughs> Kersala, why? The treachery! Guys. Araquanid died of thirst. <laughs> Who forgot to send water to the water type? Your head is engulfed in a water bubble, Araquanid. <laughs> okay, guys, there's another arena event happening. I don't like these. These make me scared. A swarm of Trekker Jackers invades the arena. Oh, no. Miltank better survive. Um... <laughs> Miltank slowly dies. From the tracker jacker toxins to send. <laughs> oh my god, Miltank Miltag was toxic. A toxic lover. A toxic relationship has died to toxins. Wait, hold on a minute. Who's still alive? Wait, have we got a winner? Two shots can be heard in the distance. Get your, get your salutes in the chat for Arachnid and Miltank. Guys, I think I know who's just won. I think I know who's just won the Hunger Games. Was it Kersla? Did Kersla just win? Oh my god! What the- Kersla! From crying themselves to sleep on night one to winning. Guys, let this be a message to you all. Sometimes life feels really, really difficult and really poopy. And you might be crying, but you eventually come out on top. But guys, it looks like our next shiny hunt has been confirmed.